And that's how you train with your AR. Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms. Today, out at Take Aim Training Range, bringing you how to train with your AR. Now that sounds kind of weird, right? How to train with your AR, how to train with your carbine, whatever it might be. Uh, it's like, what do you mean how to train? Just go train. Well, what do you do when you train? It should start, it should take place before you even hit the range, however. Are you equipped, are you accustomed to your gear and how you have it set up? Uh, because the last thing you want is for you to realize that your gear is not squared away whenever that high stress situation hits, right? And we're gonna talk about stress and things like that, how to induce stress. But uh, today, guys, it's gonna be basic simple, how to train with your AR. And like I said, that should start at home before you even leave. That's why the intro showed just some dry reloads, right? Get used to your gear. How do you have it all set up? And before we go any further, a lot of you guys are still see asking questions uh, down in the comments section, you know, hey, what ear pro, what eye pro, what battle belt is that? We have an entire range set up video, but to break it down for you, Walker Bluetooth silencers, super good ear pro. I like them quite a bit. Uh, did the entire rifle range for the Marine Corps, spending hours and hours most of the day out on the range and they got pretty comfortable for me. I like it. Uh, high speed gear, padded belt, really good. Also too, high speed gear taco pouches. They fit just about every mag you could ever imagine. If you're looking for more information, on it again go check out our video all about my range day setup stuff all right and yes we carry all this stuff on our website so go check it out all right anyway again start at home just doing simple things like this right here and take it slow initially just take it slow you're imitating that you're firing all of a sudden it goes bam you're empty get that rotate cool drop that mag come in with the next mag enter go home right easy enough yes i entered a loaded mag why because i think you guys kind of get the gist of just repetitive dry reloads repetitive dry reloads just sit there and do that Go ahead and hit that like button if you've ever annoyed your significant other during a TV show from you just dry firing your firearm. Yeah, I do all the time. Anyway, I'm actually gonna pop that guy out really quick because now we're talking about dry firing. Another big thing that I like to do pretty much all the time, especially since I'm always swapping out triggers and trying things out, I'm wanting to sit here and just do this. Boom, and fill the reset. Cool, nice. Boom, fill the reset. That right there. I probably dry fire anywhere between 20 to several hundred times a day. <laughs> if I'm sitting again watching a TV show, I might be getting distracted with other things, don't have all the time in the world, but at some point in time, I've picked up my, one of my firearms and I've just, oh yeah, that feels pretty good. Yep, okay, cool. Yep, that feels pretty good, all right, sweet. And that's just to get used and get familiar to, again, your setup. A lot of it, like I said, takes place at home before you even hit the range. So keep that in mind, all right? If you're not familiar with your stuff before you even go to the range, you're gonna look like that guy that just doesn't know what he's doing and that's, you don't wanna be that guy, right? All right, let's go ahead and go over a couple of quick little drills really quick too that I like to, uh, that I like to do, especially during this time since ammo is of short supply for obvious reasons, some just basic fundamentals, low round count type drills. And one thing I really like to teach to a lot of, you know, friends of mine that are new shooters, things like that, and even whenever, again, I was currently at the rifle range, rifle qualification with the Marines, and I saw a lot of Marines that, you know, they're issued their M16 or M4, and they're not, it's not something that they're using every single day. And I saw a lot of them when we were doing our table two exercises, which is shorter range, 25 yards, and they're trying to get a quick target acquisition. A lot of them are bringing their rifle up and then their head down to their optic, something like that. And that's not how you're supposed to do it. Get used and get comfortable with doing this right here looking at your target, finding a point on the wall and making sure your rifle's clear and just snap in. Bring the rifle to you, see where your sights are and just do this all day. Like, okay, mentally, take mental note of where your sights are. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Just go ahead, come up, boom. Okay, cool, I was a little to the left that time on the target. Let's try it one more time, come up, boom. All right, I felt like I was pretty good right there. Come up, boom. Oh, that was a complete miss, that was bad. You know, so just take time and actually practice those little drills. Let's do it a couple of times here and let's just see what that looks like. And also too, set challenges for yourself. Let's run a couple and let's see if I can actually bring my time down as we do it. So let's go ahead at a low ready. So real low for me, but that was 
0.47. So let's see if I can bring that up a little bit more. I need to keep in mind my height over bore here. So whenever I see my optic, my EOTech, which I am running and I have it on right now, I need to make sure that I'm focusing. So let's slow it down just a little bit and let's see if I can bring that a little bit closer to center mass here. Point eight one. So now let's try to speed that up a little bit and keep, again, that same type of accuracy. Let's see. 0.62, I'm happy with it. Let's try it one more time, low ready. Little to the right, 0.77, one more time. Little to the left, 0.54. And let's see if we can try it one more time, bringing it a little bit tighter at a nice quick pace. 0.61, all right. I'm pretty happy with most of those. I'll get it down to a, under half a second one day. You know, I'm not no speed shooter. I'm not Lucas Aimbachen out here, but I am taking the time to do this. And again, I'm only about maybe, maybe 10 feet. So it doesn't have to be that far of a distance either to start just practicing those basic fundamentals and getting used to your setup. Again, bringing the rifle up and ready to go. <laughs> and it shouldn't matter what position you're in. Even if I'm like here, I should be able to get right into my position, feeling the buttstock high into my shoulder. Again, I'm not bringing my face to my gun, I'm bringing my gun to my face. So even if I'm up here, cool, boom, boom. Let's see how quick I am with a couple of those. 0.74, let's try it again. And 0.74 again, exact same, all right? Here comes the reload part, right? But uh, granted, I'm out here, I'm just trying to practice, again, those basic fundamentals. We can get into the speed reloads and things like that a little bit later. You don't have to do everything all at once. Take your time, do it right, and uh, make sure you're being safe as well. That's something that I've always done, is right after I'm done shooting, I, <laughs> I had to re reshoot the opening this of this video because I pulled the trigger, turned this, and then immediately went to go. I was like, oh, well, hey, dummy. It's not charged, now to go into safe. So just keep it safe, practice again those basic fundamentals, all right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that target up and we're gonna run a couple more drills. All right, let's try to have a little bit more fun here. Let's throw in some double taps. I got a mag of uh, 10 rounds loaded and I'm just gonna go for something pretty quick here. Starting at the low ready, go beep. I'm just gonna try to do is two rounds. I would like for them to be right on top of each other uh, and half a second maybe, but we'll see. I was having a hard enough time bringing it up and trying to get one round, you know, center mass without pulling one in under half a second, so we'll see. But anyway, something else I wanna to mention too, guys, get yourself a decent sling. The Magpul MS series slings are great. The uh, Blue Force Gear Vickers slings are great. What they allow you to do is to loosen and also tighten the tension on it, so that way you, you can always have it nice and snug to your body if you're having to go, you know, hands-on with something, or you can loosen it up and really get around with it. You can move to different shoulders if need be, things like that. Uh, but this one I keep pretty snug, and uh, just for that reason, I like to kind of keep it nice and tight to the body. Especially if you're wanting to go for a little bit longer shots out of a standing position, this thing can be nice and snug to my body, and it is a much stable, much more stable platform to get a distance shot off if I'm in a standing position, all right? So pretty cool. <laughs> Invest in a decent sling. All right, let's just go as fast as I can. Two shots, center mass, uh, low ready. We'll try to break half a second, but I don't see that happening, so let's just go for it really quick. Mm, that was quite a spread there, 0.93, took one second. Let's see if we can take that down just a little bit here. Let's try it again. 0.68, getting better, let's try it again. A little low on that one, I saw that, 0.73, let's go again. Point seven seven. I really need to focusing focus on tightening that up. So you know what? This is where that speed's gonna go out the window. I wanna slow it down, tighten that group up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and try that. Much tighter group, 0.85, sacrifice a little bit of time, but a much tighter group there. So again, it just takes time and just start building that up. <laughs> so much for half a second. Yeah, right, Clint. Yeah. Go ahead and set those goals though, right? Set those goals that you wanna meet and keep working towards them, all right? Uh, just keep that in mind that it takes quite a bit of practice to finally get where you want to. So make sure you are doing that adequate practicing, training, whatever it might be. And how to train is very simple. Sit here, now that I've got an empty mag, cool, just went empty on me, grab that next mag and practice. <laughs> 
nice fundamentals, nice and easy, just like that. Again, I'm not perfect at all. I'm out here just like, just like any of you guys, just trying to get more accustomed to my firearm and running it smoothly, all right? Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm actually gonna take one round out of this guy and let's just try to do a reload with it. Let's just do one and one and let's see how quick I can get that. Again, all of these drills I'm showing you, just two shots, right? Just trying to familiarize yourself with your firearm and your outfit and just getting used to it. All right, painted the target back up and just wanted to make sure I can actually see my shots where I'm hitting here. So I'm trying again, hit that nice center mass. So let's go for it real quick. One shot, reload, one shot, let's do it. So a little low, little slow, so 3.40. Let's try it one more time here. And that wasn't the best reload of mine either. So hopefully I can speed it up and also look a little bit smoother here. So something else that you guys need to make sure you're practicing with when it comes to your gear is also to the sling, though it's there to help you can sometimes get in your way, right? Uh, so while I'm doing my reload here, I need to make sure that I can come around and get you know this guy in here without the sling getting in my way. So let's just try it one more time here. All right, let's see if I can bring those up some. Much better shot placement, 3.23, about the same as before. So I like that I brought that a little bit tighter, about the same speed, I'll call that a win for today, right? All right, and I've got, let's one, run that one one more time, why not? Because I've got one left in that mag one left in the chamber. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can really do something good here. Let's go for it. Boom, there we go, 3.07. I'm super happy with that. Definitely happy with the shot placement pretty much right on top of each other there. Yeah, I'm good with that. Now also something too that you may have noticed is when I'm trying to go for that speed, I'm not bringing my hand all the way back out here. I brought it right to the mag well since Boom, right there. I can go ahead and hit my bolt release and I'm here and I am just then pulling the target or pulling the trigger, excuse me. So very good. And uh, yeah, these types of things are fun too because you're challenging yourself. You might feel yourself getting a little bit fatigued, especially if you get out there and actually do it for any length of time. And uh, I recommend that you do. Now let's go grab a full length rifle. This is just an SBR with the Surefire suppressor on it. Let's go grab my M4 setup. Let's have some fun with that real quick. All right, just doing 15-3 count, getting there, all because I'm trying to elevate my heart rate. Gonna do a quick 25-yard sprint or 20-yard sprint to the table, take one headshot at the 25-yard, sprint 15 yards, and then take two to the chest with the RMR. All right, let's get it. And let's go ahead, ammo can sprint. Let's go. So yeah, I pulled one shot to the right. So 16.6 seconds, that was good. Let's take a look at it real quick. So one headshot to the right. I came up here, tried to get my rifle in position and uh, well, pulled the shot way over here, completely missed the target. So that's why I took three shots. All right, that whole drill took me 16.64, let's run it again. Try not to miss this time and uh, yeah, see if I can actually speed it up a little bit. All right, fresh paint is on the target. Don't need to do the jumping jacks again since just carried these guys up here. Heart rate's already elevated. Let's go as soon as it hits that timer. There we go, 15.17, sling turned around on me. It's all right, just gotta keep going with the drill, right? So let's, keep, let's check it out. All right, so all three shots were still a hit, still hit to the right over here. So that might be me, maybe I need a better sight in my RCO here. Uh, and then, 
something that's pretty cool. Thanks, Lucas, from uh, T-Rex Arms. I got that offset RMR sight, so I can go from something that has some magnification for power, and then do a quick can or can't, and now I've got my red dot on point. Pretty cool stuff, real uh, slick Call of Duty type setup, right? Anyway, so I did better by over a second, 15.17. All three shots were a hit. A little to the right, like I said, but not bad. Now, you don't have to do this uh, to start you know, getting good with the fundamentals. All of this was, was simply trying to induce and imitate stress. Because what you're gonna find is if you ever find yourself in that uh, oh crap situation, uh, you're never going to be imitate that same type of stress, get to that level of stress to where your motor skills and everything else will start to fail you. And uh, you try to do the best that you can where you can. So doing a quick little 15 second, 16 second workout and then shoot and trying to evolve all of that. First off, it's a lot of fun and it's good for you to get out and run. But uh, secondly, it's good to help you and again, practicing those fundamentals. My first shot, I needed to slow down just a little bit, make sure I did a slow, slow, steady squeeze, let that shot get off, and then make sure I made impact, and then sprint around, and then try to engage with that quick little double tap with the RMR. Pretty fun stuff, guys. So really, the basics of training with your AR-15 or any carbine, like I said, starts at home. Go ahead, start those mag reloads, start that dry fire, and also too, get equipped with your stuff. I have pretty much 100% faith in all of my equipment. I don't have to worry about mags flying out as I'm sprinting. I don't have to worry about gear falling off of me, maybe the shot timer, because I don't always run with it. Uh, but I'm comfortable with my equipment and I trust it, other than, you know, my sling when I picked up the ammo cans doing that number. But even still, I'm able to adapt, bring it back up and shoot. So again, the stuff that you'll find when you start training is, hey, I'd much rather find out now that, hey, I can do that instead of, you know, when you might have that potential of bullets flying back at you. Oh crap, am I gonna be able to overcome my sling just getting caught under my stock? Good stuff, right? Anyway, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments section. What are some of your favorite drills to run that are low count and ammunition because like I said, for obvious reasons, ammo is a little hard to come by. Uh, but what are some of your favorite drills? What are some of your favorite dry fire drills? I wanna hear from y'all, all right? Cool. Uh, like this video if you appreciate the, you know, me uh, coming out here and sweating a little bit. And uh, of course, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. And the last thing I wanna tell you to do is head on over to Classic Firearms and go check out our current giveaway. It is the Nemo Omen 300 Win Mag. That thing is sweet, guys. Come with a Trigicon 10 mile scope, worn bipod. We're also in this giveaway with Donut Operator giving away a signed deck skateboard and also Premier Body Armor giving away, yep, you guessed it, some body armor. Don't miss out. Go to classicfirearms.com, hit that top banner. That'll take you all to the web pages, or excuse me, take you to a web page with all the links to get your entries. Don't miss out, guys. God bless you. We'll see you soon. One last thing I want to uh, leave with you guys. You could have the most Gucci AR setup, whatever type of just decked out rifle, but if you're no good with it, it's absolutely worthless to you. It's just as good as anything else out there. So make sure you're practicing. <laughs>